Welcome back to Origami for Kids. Today we're going to learn more about origami. Instead of learning about all the cool different shapes that we can create with origami, we're going to learn more about what origami actually is. Origami is a seven letter word spelled O-R-I-G-A-M-I. -I. The word origami was derived from two small words, oru and kami. In Japanese, oru means to fold, and kami means paper. When you put those two words together, you get fold paper, which is exactly what origami is. And after some time, instead of oru, kami, it became origami. And now, that's the word that we use today to describe Japanese paper folding. Before origami became popular in America and in the Western world, it was created in ancient Japan, all the way across the Pacific Ocean. Long before origami became what we know it to be today, it was used strictly for ceremonial and religious purposes. It, this was because handmade paper was a luxury item that very few people could access. Through Akira Yoshizawa's great skill and expertise, origami became an art form. During his lifetime, Akira Yoshizawa has created more than 50,000 models of origami and has published more than 18 books. He is known today as the Grand Master of Origami. The history of origami would not be complete without Sadako Sasaki's story. She was a two-year-old Japanese girl who was a victim of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. As a result of the bombing, she was diagnosed with leukemia. As her sickness got worse, Sadako was forced to spend most of her time in the hospital. But she refused to give up. She wanted everyone in Hiroshima to heal and for the world to be at peace again. She had heard of a Japanese legend that promised that whoever could fold 1,000 cranes would be rewarded with a wish and eternal happiness. Sadako was a very brave and determined girl, so she sought to fold 1,000 cranes. Unfortunately, she only folded 644 when she died. After Sadako died, her family and friends finished the 1,000 cranes for her, and today her legacy continues to live on, and many people continue to fold 1,000 cranes in search of hope and happiness. Today, Sadako's story lives on through the Hiroshima Children's Peace Monument, the act of folding 1,000 cranes, and greatest of all, her story. And that's a short story about the history of origami. Thank you so much for watching today. Please like and subscribe and let me know what else you would like to see and learn about origami.